Can you really laugh yourself to death? Imagine this. It's March 1975 in Norfolk, England. Bricklayer Alex Mitchell, aged 50, is comfortably settled in for an evening of television. The Goodies, a British comedy series airing on the BBC, is one of his favorites. As actor Bill Oddie performs a hilarious spoof of kung fu films, Mitchell starts to laugh. He laughs loudly and heartily for an estimated 25 minutes, according to his wife Nessie. Then, following one final climactic belly laugh, Mitchell slumps in his chair. He has laughed himself to death. Mitchell's unusual demise made international headlines and left many wondering, can you really die of laughter? According to medical professionals, the answer is not quite as straightforward as you might think. Dr. Jorge Antonio Gutierrez, an assistant professor of cardiology at Duke University School of Medicine, asserts that, while you can't technically die of laughter, the act of laughing can exacerbate pre-existing conditions that could potentially be fatal. He explains that laughter can increase your intrathoracic pressure. If you have an aortic aneurysm, this pressure can be transmitted into your vascular system, resulting in a rupture. However, this is not because of the laughter itself, but rather the pre-existing condition. Gutierrez notes he knows of only one reported case of death via laughter in the medical literature. A 50-year-old woman who was on medication that can cause an irregular heartbeat. The prolonged laughing fit triggered a fatal arrhythmia. Laughter can theoretically also cause other bodily dysfunctions. Vocal cords might seize up blocking the flow of oxygen, or one might aspirate food into the trachea during a fit of laughter. Certain connective tissue disorders like Ehlers-Danlos syndromes could also prompt adverse reactions to spikes in blood pressure, although this is not limited to laughing. Straining or holding your breath could have the same effect. So, what about Alex Mitchell? The BBC reported in 2012 that Mitchell may have suffered from long QT syndrome, an abnormality in the heart's electrical system that can be hereditary. His granddaughter Lisa was diagnosed with the same condition in 2012. In summary, while laughter itself does not cause death, it can exacerbate pre-existing conditions, potentially leading to fatal outcomes. So, the next time you hear a really good joke, remember to laugh responsibly. As for the BBC's response to Mitchell's unusual demise, a spokesperson stated, We are very sorry indeed to learn what happened.